Hey everyone, what is going on? Uh, this video is going to be about the Stratus, but uh, I got to put the snow tire back on the Saturn. Um, interestingly enough, uh, the Saturn uh, got a flat, and uh, there's a key stuck in the tire. Here. Yeah, someone uh, lost their house key. And uh, yeah, so I took it to work, took it off, patched it. Should be good. I mean, those tires are like brand new, so I'm going to throw that on real quick. Back on the Stratus, um, got a uh, Felpro gasket kit for the uh, valve cover. And uh, let me show you here. Got some cardboard down here. Uh, see, it's a little stained. Not too bad right now, but uh, she's a leaking. When they, uh, when my buddies were working on the rust, it was leaking pretty good. Here we go, grab a nice sort of brandy new. It's kind of dirty, but it's a white rag, so we can see, uh, i show you a little bit on film here. Can't uh, pop the hood until I pop the hood pins. Sorry, kind of got a little bit of a cold going on. But, you know, with uh, racing approaching, probably should uh, get on fixing this. There's the heart here. Now, it's kind of dark in here right now, but as you can see, I got this nice white rag. If I rub it just under the lip of the block here, it's all old oil. And it's, uh, seeping out from like everywhere Let me get my uh, little light in here if it wants to turn on there we go and you can kind of see it's shiny all all the way around the edges here and uh, see it's getting down there on the uh, header bolts and the header and the engine mounts and all over the block and uh, so I knew this was going on. Oh, I got a. That's a little concerning. That wire is a little close to the header there. But, uh. Anyway, so I knew this was going on. I knew I was leaking oil from somewhere. Um, it just kind of filtered on from the top. My train of thought here is we're going to start at the top of the engine and work our way down. Um, so that's why I got this valve cover gasket kit. Uh, from the uh, good old Rocky Auto, and uh, I'm gonna open it up. It's a full top kit. Um, I only need the front. Um, we I had the car up in the air pretty good, and uh, the rear of the engine, the back bank is like spotless. There's not a drop of oil at all. So I don't know why the front is uh, doing that. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty from doing a lot of tire changing, but. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the front one. Uh, let's open up this kit, see what it came with. I was being a little lazy, I didn't want to set up the tripod, so here we go. We got this uh, nice brand new front and rear Felpro kit. Um, it's nice and blue. We got... In order to install the product in this set without difficulty, the gasket must be placed into the cover groove in the following manner. So we got some instructions. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're front and rear are interchangeable. As you can see, there's a top and a bottom. And then we got a new spark plug tube, you guys. So it, the valve cover's not too bad to change. It's it's only six bolts. So we'll uh, I gotta figure out what size that is. They look like they're a 10 mil, and they might be a 10 mil. But uh, yeah, I gotta uh, pop the little. PCV guy out, and then uh, pop a 
spark plugs out. Which, I mean, there's no oil at all in those tubes, but it's definitely leaking down the block, which is quite annoying. And those are short enough that you can't mix them up. Now there is, uh, uh, let's see. Yep, here they are. One, two, three. And they're in the back. And uh, so I'm going to pop those off. There's another little breather hose over here. I think I can grab it right up here. There's a little clampy guy. And I'll pop that off real quick. Kind of got you guys propped on the engine. Um, I loosened up the little worm clamp back air on that uh, breather hose. And uh, it's kind of hard to do and see. So let's, uh, oh geez, these are pretty loose. That one's a little tight. I think I uh, may have just been able to tighten them and get away with that as a fix, but uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, I'm, I didn't pre-break these for the video or anything. Look, this is just, I'm just like, pop. So, uh, that, that could have been an issue. Is that they were just like, super loose. But, yeah, there's one little guy. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure these are just like inch pounds. There's nothing special about putting these guys on. And uh, they're all coming off pretty easily, so that's, uh, that's a nice thing. We'll uh, take a little peek at the uh, valve train. It'll be the first time I've seen the valve train since the swap. I've never, uh, never opened it back up just to see what's, uh, what's going on on the inside here change the spark plug stuff like that but you know there was never a need to do this until the, uh, the whole little valve cover started to a little spew a little bit at us well spew a lot and uh, doesn't make things very fun sometimes getting oil all over other people's garages I ordered, I ordered some more stuff for the interior, like that little uh, power cubby little deal, and a new uh, center console lid, because I really want to get what is left of the interior to look, you know, respectable. Pull it back a little bit, go this way, hopefully the worm clamp's loose enough, no leak oil all over the place. Can't see him now. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's, he's got to be loose enough. Oh, it's it's loose enough. It just stuck in there. So there is the, uh, you know, insides. Hey, what's that guy doing down there? That's not a, uh, that's not where he belongs. That can't be good. That's a little, uh, you know, it goes in between these guys, I think. You know, there's a little spacer on those rockers. Let me get my magnet. That's not good at all. All right, so. Had to spare one of these little spacer clip guys for the rocker arms. Put him in there. And, uh, I mean, there's the oil passageways, nice and open. Everything's looking kosher here. I'll have to uh, clean up that surface with something. And pull off those tubes. Move the uh, cover up here. And, uh, as you can see, it was kind of leaking all along the front here. So, I will uh, pull this off, put in the new, and then uh, put our new tubies on. Old gasket on the floor. There's the spark plug tube seals. And I didn't touch this yet, but 
you can see that uh, oil all inside that groove there that was leaking by. All right, so uh, losing daylight, so I'm gonna stop for today. But uh, got the tube seals on, got the gasket on. Just just set that on there so nothing would fall in those valves. Um, so we pick it up tomorrow. Next day, shop lights aren't working. Probably have to replace those because I'm not paying for no like six foot bulbs. But um, here. So all I did so far was get the uh, little breather hose back on here. Uh, put this bolt in, and that bolt in to hold it in place, and put this little check valve in there. So now I got to uh, put in the other four bolts, tighten them down, put in the spark plugs, and uh, should should be pretty decent from there. Last one finger tight. Got a screwdriver. So those two, they're all in. Now I got to uh, wrench them a little bit. Alright, so we got all six of these bolts all back in. So now we can uh, put our uh, spark plug wires back in. There is a uh, two, four, six. Pretty sure. Those guys are all in there. All nice and tight. And uh, so that's pretty much it. It's all on there. Let me pull this rag out of there. That's basically it. Car is all back together. Um, like I said, we found that one little rocker arm spacer piece out of place. Put the new one in um, that I had lying around from the old motor. And uh, so the new valve covers on there on the front. Rear wasn't leaking, so that should be good. I'll have to uh, check everything after I drive it a little bit. Um, I think this weekend, since it's super nice out, I might try to take the car out Saturday if it doesn't rain. So, uh, hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe. Till next time.